When Assassin's Creed Codename Red was announced at the Ubisoft Ford event in 2022, it's needless to say the gaming community was pretty hyped. Feudal Japan is one of the most sought after settings for AC players, so there are massive expectations for this game. Today we're going to be looking at all of the information actually confirmed, going over the recent major leaks, as well as speculating on everything we know so far. Let's just dive right in. Now since the last Ubisoft event in June 2023, the information on Assassin's Creed Codename Red, which we still don't actually have a title for yet, has been pretty limited. The developers are Ubisoft Quebec, who did Freedom Cry, Syndicate and Odyssey. You may have some judgments about this already, depending on what you think of those games. And the creative director is Jonathan Dumont, who was also the creative director for Odyssey. And there has also been some controversy and allegations surrounding him, although Ubisoft have brought him back. We know the game is set in feudal Japan, which is between 1185 and 1603. And the game has been in development since 2018, so it's a long time coming. Now, other than that very limited information and the incredibly short teaser, nothing much else is confirmed. However, we've just had some massive leaks recently which are looking to be very promising. Insider Gaming, Jonathan and Tom Henderson have all found some leaks on AC Red and each of them have already shared early information on AC games before, which has always been incredibly accurate. So, it's safe to say that this is all pretty likely. Just before we do jump into all of it, massive apologies for the upcoming butchery of Japanese names and terms which I'm going to attempt to pronounce. Now we'll start with the protagonists and there are two of them, the first of them being a real life historical person Yasuke, who is known as the first African samurai. Yasuke was around within the Sengoku period, also known as the Warring States era, where there was a constant military conflict and power struggles, as well as the influence of European countries and trade, including slaves, which is how Yasuke initially came to Japan. The game, according to the leak, starts with Yasuke as a slave aboard a ship. The ship is attacked, his lover is killed, but he manages to survive, and then he lands in Japan and undertakes samurai training under Ozu Nobunaga, who is again another real historical figure. Nobunaga was actually a very famous warlord and is known as one of the first unifiers of Japan and is actually already an AC lore within the Assassin's Creed Memories trading card game. According to history, and this is speculated, Nobunaga was forced to commit seppuku, which is a form of taking one's own life, and Yasuke, being of African descent, was not forced to commit seppuku as it was deemed too honourable for him, so he then eventually became a yonin, or a wandering samurai. Now, our other protagonist, known as Naoi, is a female character and shinobi or ninja, who, according to the leaks, has a very similar story to Bayek. A member of the order will kill her father and a quest for revenge will follow, which pushes her towards becoming a shinobi. The interesting part of this is that Naoi's father is real life ninja Fujibayashi Nagato, who was famously killed by Oda Nobunaga, so knowing this, it's incredibly likely that Yasuke could unknowingly, or knowingly, be working with a Templar. Supposedly, Yasuke and Naoi start as enemies which then leads to allies, both aiming for the unification of Japan. Another famous character name leaked includes Hattori Hanzo, known as the most famous and greatest ninja of all time, who again is also an AC lore within the Memories card game. He actually has a relationship with Odu Nobunaga, so it's possible that maybe after Nobunaga's death, he could then become a teacher to Yasuke or even Naoi, or maybe both. In terms of our character combat, Yasuke being a samurai, Naoi being a ninja, each will have very different styles of fighting. Yasuke will be wielding a katana, and Naoi will be using more ninja aspects like different tools. Listed in fact in the leaks are kunai, shuriken, smoke bombs and bells for Naoi, and I see her as a more agile version of Bazim. Whilst there are two protagonists, I see Yasuke potentially taking the larger part of the game, handling more of the open combat situations, with Naoi taking on the more stealthy approach, assassination type missions, which obviously fits their supposed qualities rather well. Now that is just the characters so far, but there are still a ton of other massive leaks to mention. In terms of our map size, Japan is listed to be larger than AC Valhalla, but smaller than AC Odyssey. This is going to be another proper open world game, which tells me that parkour won't be at the forefront of the game so much like it was in Mirage. Yes, of course, there'll be cities within the game, I'm sure, but there'll also be masses of open space too, which naturally will mean that parkour will take more of a back foot. 
I can see though, as Japan is full of dense forests, the potential for lots and lots of parkour through trees, just like an AC3, which I'm keeping my fingers crossed for. In terms of the exploration itself, leaks state that there will be less map markers, and Leaker Jonathan actually compares this to Elden Ring, where you use in-game notes, maps, and visual guides, rather than the games which hold your hand more and point out where everything is nice and easily. This just encourages exploration and should lead to a more immersive experience, so it's something I'm really excited about. With the combats, leaks state that there will be different fighting stances, which is probably the leak I'm most pumped about. Enemies will feature a posture bar like in Sekiro, and if you look at the four different stances within Ghost of Tsushima, it can give you some indication as to what we're getting. There is also a focus on well-timed parries and aggressiveness, with the enemies to have advanced combat AI, easily able to defend themselves and frequently countering our attacks. Firearms will also be carried for enemy range attacks, and this is the first AC game to include guns against in Syndicate, which could also mean we see the return of the human shield we haven't had since Rogue, which I'd prefer to to the straight up dodging like in Unity or Syndicate. Although not within the leaks, this could also mean we use guns ourselves, as rifles were a popular weapon of 16th century samurai. On top of that, a grappling hook is going to be introduced into the game. Don't fear though, this will not be like the grappling hook in Syndicate, but it will be more like the grappling hook in Sekiro, also having use within combat, such as closing gaps in between enemies or using it to get away. This does continue to lead me though that again, parkour will be taking somewhat of a backseat. By the way guys, if you do want to help out my channel, a like and a sub would go a really long way. In terms of the stealth aspects, this is where things get really interesting. Supposedly, the game will have an improved stealth system, where the game makes use of dark spots. There will be darker areas within the map that you can hide in, as well as the ability to extinguish torches. This has been seen before in games like Splinter Cell or Thief the Dark Project, and overall should add more realism and strategy. We have to pick where we're going to move in advance, actually striking from the shadows, and speculating on this, I can see now are we handling more of this aspect, and potentially we'll have black box missions designed with lots of darkness. I can visualise the missions already, sneaking into an encampment at night, taking out torches from afar with a kunai or shuriken, and working our way to assassinate a samurai templar. Genuinely this could be awesome. There are also leaks of being able to go prone in long grass, which we've never been able to do in an Assassin's Creed game before. This makes me speculate perhaps on there being different lengths of grass and dependent on the height as whether you'd walk, kneel or crawl through to remain anonymous. I can see us maybe listening into conversations, leaning over rooftops, potentially even crawling through blossom as well. Whilst I don't think parkour will be so massive in this game, it sounds like stealth really, really will be. Furthermore, another leak mentions that you can recruit enemies as spies. Within the game are going to be camps, with each camp having a commander, and players can choose whether to kill the commander for their loot and gear, or choose to spare them. If you spare the commander, they become your ally, working for you as a spy, and providing valuable information. This may only be within the main storyline, but who knows, and the information given could maybe be secret entrances, information on targets, or the number of guards within an area. I even kind of hope that they go one step further to potentially making them saboteurs, maybe blowing up gates on our behalf, or maybe even our own leadable assassins. Just a few more leaks to go, with the next one being that NPCs can now defend themselves. There isn't much more information on it than that, but maybe rather than just running away at the first sight of blood, or even making us leave the animus, if you accidentally attack an NPC, it's sounding likely that they're gonna hit you back. This instantly made me think of Skyrim or GTA, and again, just adds more realism and a more immersive RPG experience. AC Red is also, as expected, supposedly only available on next-gen consoles, so the PC, Xbox X and S, and PS5, which in my opinion is a good thing. Sure, it does mean that less people will play it, and I feel for you if you haven't got a next-gen console, but it means the overall game should be of higher quality, rather than having to downgrade it to suit other needs. Saying that though, whilst the graphics will be good, as it's been in development for 6 years, we can expect something more like AC Mirage, rather than the supposed to be graphically incredible upcoming Star Wars Outlaws. In terms of a release date, we can pretty safely speculate a release time around October-November, as these are the same months every other Assassin's Creed game has ever been released. If I had to bet, I would say November, as it's closer to Christmas. According to the leaks, the game is in its advanced stage of development, where they'll currently be ironing out the kinks and getting rid of bugs. We can obviously expect more details at the upcoming Ubisoft Forward event, which I think will happen in the next few months, and I reckon we could expect an actual trailer too. 
I do have to say, if Ubisoft gets this game right, this could be the greatest Assassin's Creed of all time. We have an incredible time period and setting, interesting characters, the combat sounds super detailed, stealth also sounds really interesting, as well as everything else mentioned. They're clearly taking aspects from good games like Ghost of Tsushima, which is widely regarded as freaking incredible, and Sekiro, which also had some fantastic elements. I for one am seriously hyped and I just hope that they do it all justice. We likely have a long way to head until AC Red releases, so in the meantime if you were curious about whether you should try Assassin's Creed Valhalla, then why not watch my next video. I'll catch you legends in the next one. Until then.